You good? Yeah. I always struggled when learning how to ride a bike. Every time my dad, or my friend's dad, if I was at their house, well, every time he'd lift the stabilizers up so that they were hovering half on the ground and half off, I'd start panicking. Now, not the sort of panic you feel when you lock yourself in your bathroom and no one else is at home. I did that once. No, this sort of panic comes right from the pit of your stomach. And then once those stabilizers were cranked up another notch, I'd be in free fall before even getting on the saddle. Petrified. Physicists say that free fall is any motion on the body where only gravity is acting on it. So yes, technically, I was in free fall, but I was six and, well, the bike was small. The bike was so small that if I was riding in a straight line, lost balance and fell over, nothing serious ever happened. In fact, nothing ever happened. Thing is, every time that physical fall occurred, it was nothing compared to the free fall my head went through when those stabilizers moved and the dread of what might come next really kicked in. <laughs> That's irrational, right? We end up fearing an event 10 times more than the reality of it, even when we've been through it time after time. Why is that? It's like our projected experience and our real experiences are detached somehow, which is a strange word really, because we all feel that now from colleagues, from friends, from family, from ourselves, from life. Detachment in our previous life would make us feel helpless, lonely and lost. But how long does it take until the abnormal becomes the normal? And actually, detachment in this new norm becomes pleasure, a break, a glimpse into the joy that once was until like a heavy, heady, drink fueled weekend, it stops and down you come, free falling further, faster and harder than you rose on the way up. 
crashing back like a wave. People say that grief and shock come in waves. But waves are regular. You know where they're coming from, how big they are. You can see them. This is invisible. And you can't brace for the invisible because by the time you felt it, it's too late. There is no personal protective equipment. We're at our most vulnerable, our most open. And it's when you're in that state that you get some perspective, some sense. You realise that all those worries you might have had, sure, they mean something because you worry about them, but they don't mean everything. Do they? Nothing does. If it did, then every time we lost one thing, however big or small, we'd crumble. And sometimes, it might feel like we are crumbling, that we've given up, that we're about to get on that bloody bike again, but this time the saddle is just too high. We do though, every single time. Life is a bit like learning how to ride a bike at the minute. Sometimes you're stabilised. Sometimes you fall off. But you always get back on. <laughs>